Hello Gemini, welcome to your love reading. We're gonna be looking at what's going on in your connection, how you feel about each other, and where it's all headed. As always, it's a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Gemini watching. So take what resonates, leave the rest. Check out my playlist for Gemini, if this doesn't resonate at all. And let's get into this. Spirit, angel, spirit, messages for Gemini, please. When it comes to love, what does Gemini need to know for Gemini? What's going on for Gemini when it comes to love? What's going on for Gemini in love? Okay, we got main male, so uh, masculine energy. going on for Gemini's spirit when it comes to love Communi community number 39 I instantly thought this could be family members friends co-workers let me just look to make sure nothing else flipped over I'm thinking of the three of cups with this community card or like the three of pentacles there's three people in this card but then in the back there's multiple people Bottom of the deck, I have marriage. So this could be, you know, my Geminis. <laughs> Every time I do a reading for Geminis, there's something to do with like someone else. So let's see. Let's see if this is going to be one of those readings. Spirit messages for Gemini, please. Messages for Gemini. What do they need to know when it comes to love? What do they need to know for Gemini? Okay, let's cut the deck. I'm going to use the spread that I've used in the past. It kind of gives us past, present, future energies as well as how you are feeling about each other. So in the recent past, I have the King of Swords. Okay, in your energy, we have the Page of Swords reverse, the Hermit reverse, Virgo energy. What's going on right now? Queen of Pentacles, Five of Cups reverse. In their energy, we have the Ace of Swords and the Moon, Pisces energy. And in the near future, we have the King of Cups. Interesting. Could be dealing with a Virgo, Pan uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Pisces is here. Um... I have two kings and a queen. Bottom of the deck, I have the eight of pentacles reversed. And the five of wands. Again, with like multiple people. Um, and something's going on here. That's a bit off because I feel like your person in your person's energy, we have the ace of swords and the moon. Almost like there needs to be clarity about something that's not clear, unknown. Maybe an illusion. Maybe your person wants to talk about this. Open the lines of communication. You're very withdrawn. I feel like because of either no communication at all or because of walking away from something or leaving something behind, almost like not wanting to face something. Um, it is, I don't know. I feel like there's a barrier here with you. Page of Swords reverse. This could be due to deception or for some reason I'm picking up like you're not aware of something. And it's like you're too far from it with the Hermit reverse. We'll see if I'm right about that when I clarify. And we have the King of Swords in the distant path and the King of Cups here. I wonder if this is the same person. In the uh, main energy here of the reading, we have Queen of Pentacles and the Five of Cups Reverse. Five of Cups Reverse is a card about um, having, you know, regrets over the past, but then you, you want to get something back, something that's missing. 
something that was taken from you or that you lost, you want to kind of regain it or you want to just overcome the past. But with the Eight of Pentacles reverse and the Five of Wands, there's drama here. Something's not working out. So let's see. Let's get into this. Start with the recent past. What's this King of Swords doing here? What's this King of Swords about? Knight of Pentacles. Some sort of offer, opportunity. There was an opportunity in the past. Bottom of the deck, I have the Ten of Pentacles. This could have been an opportunity that um, had long-term potential. This could be an opportunity that you wanted or this person wanted. Tell me more about this Knight of Pentacles. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Knight of Wands reverse. Interesting. King of Pentacles reverse. King of Wands reverse. I don't think this happened. Seven of Pentacles. I don't think this happened. Yep. Whatever this opportunity was, it probably was over before it started. Or even though there was potential, there wasn't actual commitment or follow through. Maybe this is a communication that took place about this. King of Wands reverse again. Seven of Pentacles. So basically, yeah, I don't think this is somebody that was able to either bring you this offer or if they did bring this offer, it never went anywhere with the Knight of Wands reverse. This could have been somebody who thought a little bit, like maybe they were doing a little bit of overthinking about this. Maybe there's, there was a lot of talking, but not actual commitment. Okay, tell me about this Queen of Pentacles with this Five of Cups reverse. What's this about? Why is the Queen of Pentacles here with the Five of Cups reverse? Death, Scorpio energy. There was some sort of ending. An end of a cycle, a change, a transformation. Tell me more about this Queen of Pentacles and the Five of Cups reverse. Nine of Cups reverse. Yeah, someone didn't get what they wanted here or there was a compromise. Maybe this is someone that was selfish. Tell me more about death. I don't know if there was a separation here between you. Six of Cups. Wow. So this is definitely something that I feel is related to the past. You have history with this person, Gemini. And something happened in the past that ended with this person. Or perhaps it didn't happen the way that someone hoped here with the Nine of Cups reverse. Let's look at your energies. Let's start with you and your person. Gemini, I have you on this side. I have your person on the other, but it can be flipped. So feel free to flip the energy if you'd like. Start. Tell me about the energy between Gemini and this other person. Tell me about the energy between Gemini and this other person. Tell me about Gemini. Tell me about Gemini's energies, please. almost dropped it unexpected event revelation upheaval endings unexpected shocking events have shaken things up so you are having a tower moment or had a tower moment here tell me about the person that gemini is thinking about or in a connection with or is headed towards gemini tell me about this other person's energy pure seduction lust temptation desire you're being tempted to give in to your desires. So they're desiring you or something with you here. This is um, could be some something that someone, maybe they were, maybe they got themselves into trouble. We'll see. Because I have the tower on your end. Tell me about the Page of Swords reverse. What's this about? 
Why do you have the page of swords reverse here? What's this page of swords reverse about? King of Wands reversed again. You could have cut someone off here, Gemini. I have the King of Swords. Four of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, I feel like you checked out. Um, or for some reason, communication stopped here. Something wasn't working out with this person. Maybe they weren't able to put into this connection what you were putting into it. Um, maybe you had to do a lot of healing from some other situation and it affected this connection or vice versa. Maybe they had to do some healing. They could have also been the ones to check out as well. Tell me about the Hermit Reverse. Why is the Hermit Reverse? The Lover's Reverse. There you are, Gemini. So I feel like there was definitely a separation here. I feel like something kind of ended and I feel like someone like ran away or withdrew. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. What's this Ace of Swords about? Where's the Ace of Swords here for Gemini? Eight of Swords, fear being stuck, overthinking. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. You had a reading uh, recently, Gemini, where your person was breaking the silence, but they were afraid, fearful. Seven of Wands, reverse, and then have the Ten of Swords, reverse. I feel like they want to talk about what happened. Maybe they want to move on from what happened. I have Judgment, reverse at the bottom of, not reverse, Judgment at the bottom of the deck. They could be wanting to revive something. Um, but with the Seven of Wands reverse, I feel like there this is a battle that maybe they don't have the courage to fight. You know, it's like maybe this is something that they are having a hard time kind of like gear. It's almost like this is somebody that's, they have a desire, but their fear is kind of making them hesitate. Um, I feel like they're thinking about this a lot. I think this person also has clarity about the past. Tell me about the moon. But with the moon, there might not be communication here or there might not be, you know, this might not be known. Tell me about the moon. Like you might not know this person feels a certain way or wants to talk. Let's see. Okay, we have the nine of pentacles here. Let me put this back. Okay, tell me about the moon. Why is the moon here? Full reverse. Two cards that mean completely different things. And that is the three of cups reverse. This is about independence, freedom, a lightness here. The full reverse could be a card about hesitating you know not being able to go into a new beginning or start a new cycle why is the nine of pentacles here why is the nine of pentacles here Nine of Swords. Again with the fear. This person has two cards all about fear. Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords. Also the Seven of Wands reverse. They're scared of something. Temperance reverse at the bottom of the deck. Sagittarius energy. Three of Swords reverse. There's something in the way. Either this fear is an interference specifically or there's some someone else. Something else in the way of someone being completely free. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. Seven of Cups. Okay, so someone's trying to figure something out here. Make a different choice. What options do they have? This person could be worried about making a mistake. Maybe they, since they don't know something with the moon, or since they're keeping something to themselves, 
Maybe they're wondering if opening up or communicating would be a mistake here. Wheel of Fortune reversed at the bottom. Is it the right time? Has too much time passed? Three of Wands reverse. But this person, they really want to get this done. Have the magician from behind that. So I feel like the desire is there. I feel like they want to talk here. Can I get one more? Eight of Cups. Okay, so this is about a departure of some sort. And I have the Eight of Cups with the Nine of Pentacles. Uh, this could be um, someone being free of possibly a family situation. Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Maybe this is someone that wants to walk towards their happiness here. Their happy ending. Let's look at this King of Cups. So let's wrap this up here with the King of Cups. This is like what's happening in the near future. What's this King of Cups about, Spirit? I feel like this is your person. Why is the King of Cups here? Four of Wands. Why is the King of Cups here? Three of Cups reverse. There's definitely something here, like a delayed reunion or a uh, third party interference. Tell me more about this King of Cups. Seven of Pentacles. So what I'm getting is that this, yeah, they're holding back. Four of Pentacles. This person's holding back or holding on to a certain idea. But I feel more like they're holding back because they don't know how something's going to play out with the Seven of Pentacles. There's like worry or doubt about the outcome of something. Um, I'm also thinking of time. Like a lot of time has passed. Um, maybe it's too too much time has passed or something. But I feel like, I don't know, this four of wands is odd. Because I feel like it could be that this person is already in some sort of stable connection. And this is in the way. And they might have been in this connection for a long time. Or this is like what they want with you, this four of wands. But there's like something here, you know. Regardless, I feel like this is someone that has a lot of feelings for you. Um, I think they're thinking about you a lot. Um, I think this might even be a soulmate connection with the six of cups. But I think something happened between you and whatever it was, it's enough for this person to like overthink about, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, it's almost like they talk themselves out of something, you know, I think this person, they're wondering if they walk away from something, what are their options? Seven of cups, you know, because there's like the unknown here with the moon, like they don't know where they're headed or how things are going to play out with them, you know? And I think this, this unknown, the fact that this isn't like very clear, it, it kind of keeps them from reaching out i feel three of swords reverse the star reverse yeah yeah i feel like this is someone that is holding back so in the near future gemini i feel like this is probably still ongoing i think this is someone who you know they're they're really thinking about what to do and i think trying to overcome their fear i don't think they're there yet um, I feel like they are desiring you. I think that they are pulled towards you with this pure seduction card. Um, I don't know. It, it's almost like I don't think you let this person rest because they're so in their head about you with the eight of swords, the nine of swords. There's seven of cups like they, they're, they're fantasizing, imagining. I think they even like think about being free, unattached, um, you know, but I don't think they have the courage to take the leap just yet if this resonated for you let me know hit the like button and subscribe leave me a comment if this resonated and i'll see you on another video very soon take care gemini